It is Monday and it's the first day of school. I've waited all summer for this day. I hate summer break. I wish we could go do school year round, but Dustin's not on that year round team. Um, he sees a value in summer. So anyways, I am excited. We are getting ready to start the day today is a very special day to start school on. And we will tell you more about that later. Pajama. The... I just finished this huge book. Finished. Wow. She just finished her book that she got from Barnes & Noble at the free reading program. Let's see how many pages that is. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Hold on, I'm I'm there. Good morning. Two hundred two hundred and sixty pages. Two hundred and sixty one. Sixty one. Two hundred and sixty. God bless you. <gasps> Malachi, are you excited about school starting? He cried 30, today. In thirty three chapters. Wow. Or he cried today because we implemented the one toy in the living room policy. I want all of them. Yeah, that was what our summer looked like and that's not going to happen anymore and he said I don't want my girls to do school. That's okay. Get up. I'll do my school quickly so I can have some time with you, Malachi. And here's Miss Lydia, my second grader. She has a fever blister or a cold sore or something. Let's, you want to show everybody or no? Okay, five. All I have to show comments and say if they know what it is. Okay, ready, go. Leave Lydia a comment. Maybe we can put a band aid on it for school tomorrow. Because tomorrow is our first day of CC. We don't know what that is. But I, she had a cold and like rubbed her nose raw, so I don't know if it's leftover from that or what. Oh well, it's almost fine. <laughs> about the eclipse? The moon blocks the sun. <laughs> the sunny side up to be exact. Yay! I forced it. Okay, we finished our morning breakfast, our eclipse breakfast. We're getting ready to start our morning conference time and I have a new student. Look at that. Can you say hi, Malachi? <gasps> Oh my goodness, Lydia has on a parachute today. And fashion. A fashionable parachute. And we are going to read and the coolest book. And the ladybug one. Okay, I read this book over the weekend and it is so great. I want to buy it. We got it from the library, but we will be buying this and, and adding it to our collection. This I is my home. This. And I want all of the trucks on my room. This is my home. This is my school by Jonathan Bean. You have to check it out. But we're going to say goodbye to you and we're going to say hello to this book. Okay, now Anna and Lydia, go stand next to Malachi with your sign. Oh my goodness. First day of fifth grade, first day of pre preschool, and first day of second grade. Pee -pee. I did not say pee pee. <laughs> I did not say that. The dog is way over there. What? There's an airplane way up there. The vowel is alone. At the end of a word, it says it's own name. There's no other vowels next First to that. Ah, you just underlined a consonant. Underline just the vowel. Just the vowel. Just 
the vowel, just the vowel. So today is the first day back to school for the kiddos, and uh, we've got a lot of things going on. I've been catching up on paying bills and getting things in order since we've been gone so much and I had pneumonia this summer so it's like I'm behind on tons of stuff so I just got all my bills caught up and I'm waiting to hear back from the survey crew who are going to go do survey on that land this week and then we can go on towards closing on the land. Um, I'm starting to ramp back up for a 714. I'm looking for an office space now because this just ain't cutting it. It's not enough space. And, I've got to have room to really work. So I'm working on that. Um, that's kind of a tough search because we're, I don't know whether to run to get something or wait till um, I get moved or whatever. So um, also, it being the first day of school back, it turns out we're starting our kids back a week earlier than the public school, so that's cool. That gives us a little wiggle room um, during the year because we, we do a lot more during holidays and we travel and we do um, school event, you know, or, um, I can't remember what you call them. Um, we do school on the road a lot, and so our kids get a lot more than most folks. So anyway, they're going to be really hooked up since we're starting earlier as well. And today is an eclipse, so we're going to try to capture that on video and um, be really careful because you know you'll burn your eyes. We do have some of the eclipse-approved glasses, which now online are selling for as much as two hundred ninety-nine dollars on Amazon. Crazy, but we've got um, a couple pair actually that are the ISO approved, NASA approved glasses and so I might attempt to look up and see the solar eclipse but I'm definitely going to try to capture it on an iPad. So that's this afternoon in just an hour and a half. Pretty exciting stuff. I mean the last time we had a total eclipse come over was in um, 38 years ago and um, 35 years ago I think it was. Anyways we are um, we're going to be able to hopefully capture some of this on at least some kind of video. I may burn up a camera lens doing it but I'm going to dedicate an, a tablet to, to see if I can. And that's pretty much it. We'll see what happens. Y'all go with us. Actually, functions as eclipse glasses. So we have two pair. These online right now, these paper glasses, are selling for $299. Are you kidding? Because or one people, pair? Because people are crazy. Um, they wait until last minute and they want them. And so we have two pair right here. Um, we don't think we're going to let you guys use them because. Yeah. At any rate, it's not worth it. All you're going to see is a blacked out sun. It's not like seeing the lunar eclipse, which is actually kind of pretty. And to be honest, it's not worth when you can pinhole something or we can try to record it. I'm going to actually try to record it on the iPad. And I'm charging it right now. I've got a, one of my old iPhones as well. Both of those things I'm going to try to use. I don't mind burning up the, um, the retina camera in it to attempt to get video. If I get video, it would be bonus like really really cool but if I don't oh well um let's see so that's that on this I saw about this will be the first total solar eclipse visible in the continental United States in 38 years I remember it when I was little barely um let's see if drawn a scale the moon would be 30 400 times that distance oh so it's saying this is not drawn to scale but if it were it would be like even further apart. So the sun is way further apart. The moon is, you know, way further out. So this is not drawn to scale. It's just saying that this is the way it looks. So if you can see this, the sun has light all the way across here, but its light comes into an angle when it comes to the Earth's surface. I mean, Earth's um, atmosphere and into the Earth. And when it hits the moon's orbit, the part that's the brightest part of the sun is blacked out and blocked. Can the moon honestly block out all the sun? Which is the, bigger, the moon or the sun? The um, sun. The sun is much bigger because the moon is closer, and the sun is further away, and because of the way the light crosses each other in the atmosphere, the moon then blocks out, and when it does block out, it blocks out one little teeny point under it, like its shadow. So, right down here, and that's us. So, see how it goes down? Since the sun is really small to us. So the little, the marker across the earth is only a few miles that you can be in that band to see that eclipse perfectly. Wow. Yeah, and it's a few more miles on the side of that, that's 98%, a few more miles that's 96, you get it, and on down to 0%. All right, um, you can see it's talking about the, the axis, the moon's orbit, the Earth's orbit. That's pretty much it, I think. They like you swimming? Huh? Okay, so here's the girls. Each are going to get the cardboard box. 
we put a pin hole, well, a pencil hole in there, and it will project onto the um, the white paper. They made this one at Yaya's yesterday, and there's white paper down in there, but it was, I don't know, I'm just a little concerned, so I'm being overly cautious, and I'll use this one for myself, and I'll let the girls do that. We have two of these that someone gave us at CC back in, like, March or April. They are the right kind. I'm just nervous and cautious. So Dustin said he'll use those. I'm not. And Malachi just went down for his nap. And so we're ready. Okay, tell me what you're doing. Well, I'm just attempting something they say won't work and I'm fine with it not working. But if it does work, it'd be pretty doggone awesome. And that is I'm taking um, a NASA approved glasses. That I refuse to wear. Yeah, it's UV protection. And I'm putting it over an old iPhone that we've already got. And I'm trying to see if I can get a recording of the um, actual um, solar eclipse. We'll see. It's going to be a slow process. You're going to see it in stages. So it goes. You're doing great. Fun, guys. Okay. Don't look, but everyone say cheese. Solar Eclipse 2017. Sun's right there. Not cool. Well, we're out here. The eclipse is going on. I've got a viewer over the viewer of this camera, and I got that other one running over there with. Um, I've got it. It's got a, a time lapse on. We'll see if it turns out. If it doesn't turn out, oh well. And um, they're always talking about how it burns up cameras, but I'm just going to try it and see. You got to be careful because you can't let it reflect in your eye. Man, these sweat bees are bad. I got to get some deep woods off on. Yeah. If you guys want to come here real quick, on NASA's, they're going to, the totality in Charleston is 1 minute and 53 seconds away. We could watch live on Facebook. Are you actually able to see it or just something that shows a rendition of it? That's it. Actual. Okay, kids, go. Come over to Mommy. Ours is finishing up. You can watch, you can watch online the actual solar eclipse on NASA's site now, and that'd be fun. So go, out, go watch the actual eclipse on NASA. Okay. As ours gets brighter and brighter, Charleston's getting ready to be in their total eclipse. So see how it's getting brighter? The sun's coming back out. Isn't that cool? That was the eclipse. You've seen it. It's, it's still going, but you got to see it. So they're watching NASA website as it goes total darkness. We were 98%, and that's 100% darkness, darkness. Very, very cool. I am happy to have air conditioning. We just finished that up. That was fun, and uh, we are done. The Moon is going back into its spot. We can't look at it anymore. And uh, I'm gonna look at videos and see how they turned out. Okay, what's your question? Today is my turn to go to Yaya's. Yes, today is your turn to go to Yaya's. Anything else? Nope. Nope. Girls went shoe shopping with mom and Lori went with them. Books and stuff came in, and pencils for school from Amazon. <clears throat> I'm looking for some of my stuff too. I think this might be mine right here. Anyway, so that's good. And Malachi's in there watching a Scooby movie for a minute while um, they're out shopping. It's good because um, Lori finished up school with the kids and they did really well today and it's good for them to do something different. So they're getting out. Anyways, it's been a pretty good day. I'm a little bit tired. I'm still getting over um, recovery for um, you know pneumonia, but I'm doing so much better. And in the evening with guitar with the kiddos. Sometimes when my heart gets heavy on stuff, I just won't play it's guitar. sad, which makes me sad. Why is your hair?